Turning now to your 17 court watch tonight. Opening statements were heard this morning in the penalty phase retrial of a man convicted of murdering two women in Kern County back in the 1980s. David Keith Rogers was sentenced to death in 1988 for the murders of 20-year-old Janine Benatende and 15-year-old Tracy Clark. The victims worked as prostitutes, which is how Rogers encountered them. In 2019, the California Supreme Court overturned his death penalty after finding a prosecution witness falsely testified he had sexually assaulted her. The murder convictions, however, still stand. The retrial will determine whether David Keith Rogers will again be condemned to death or sentenced to life without parole. Rogers' attorney told jurors in her opening statement this morning, it's up to them and to them alone to determine what would be an appropriate sentence for her client. Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, during a roughly 90-minute opening statement, gave the jury an overview of the case from the background of the victims to the evidence presented, including tire tracks, shoe prints, and ballistics evidence linking Rogers to the crimes. We've got two young women dead. We've got a description of the cars. This is potentially law enforcement ammunition used. This is the problem. A name popped up. In these discussions, a name popped up, and that was David Rogers. Jason Katowski is our court reporter here at 17 News. He's joining us now in studio with more on this case. Jason, what did DA Zimmer tell the jury about the crimes committed by Rogers? Well, Zimmer said his actions impacted a lot of people, multiple families of the victims and, of course, the victims themselves, causing terrible pain. Uh, she said that his actions, uh, the shootings that he committed, at least in one instance, the victim did not die immediately and was shot multiple times, and that he disposed of their bodies, uh, in her words, like pieces of garbage by tossing them into the canal where they floated with trash. Um, she said that these were young women who were in troubled, who had troubled situations in their lives, and they died by violence from someone who, so, uh, excuse me, uh, who swore to serve and protect. She repeatedly emphasized Roger's status as a sheriff's deputy and how law enforcement at first couldn't believe one of their own was involved. She said some crimes are so bad the perpetrators deserve death, and this is one of them. Well, what did the defense attorney say, trying to convince jurors that uh, Rogers doesn't deserve the death penalty? She told the jury that they're going to hear a lot about Roger's uh, troubled upbringing, a lot about his background, um, information about alcoholism and addiction. And she tried to get the jury to understand there's more to her client than the murders he committed. And she said Rogers, despite what prosecutors say, did feel remorse. When told that Tracy Clark, one of his victims, was only 15 years old, he broke down crying because he had, I believe it was a niece who was about the same age. And uh, she also said Rogers, uh, his attorney also said Rogers spent a long time time on suicide watch feeling so terrible about what he'd done that he wanted to end his life. Mm. And so uh, we have a few seconds left. What's next? Uh, the jury's going to hear weeks of testimony. This trial is expected to last until at least mid-February, maybe a little later. Uh, they're going to hear from witnesses, both who testified in the original trial and from attorneys who are going to read testimony by witnesses who have since died since it's been roughly 35 years since that trial took place. And it resumes on Monday. All right, Jason Katowski, who reports for KGT.com. More on our website on this case as it unfolds. Yes. Okay. Right, thank you, Thanks, Jason. Jason. Thank you.